I just do wish that a lot of humans would learn from dog people to be good, to be more in tune with heaven's will. My dogs they are very in tune with heaven's blessing, power, and they are very protective. They do whatever they can and are very, very obedient. I can't say obedient, just very cooperative, very respectful. Truly, dog people are very, very psychic. Most animals, people are psychic. Wow. We humans also have this telepathic power. It's just that we're too busy. We don't use it and it becomes dormant. Humans are top, top, top. They have all kinds of abilities to protect themselves, to survive even without food and water, wow, and yes. to know God and to see the angels, to see the saints, to see all the uh, beings on the moon, on the sun, uh, on the stars, and other invisible beings that help or try to harm them. And they have the ability to live long, 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 many, many hundreds of years, or even thousands of years off, like maybe forever even, in the physical dimension. Um, about the year 2027, someone mm. um, before photographed and actually videoed empty streets and empty towns. Um, mm. Why would it get like that? Can anything be done to avoid that situation, Master? Yeah, I have told you that is. No matter if anybody sees it or not, it will happen like that. Oh, Heavens and all the saints and sages and my humble self are working so hard to try to protect all the humans possible. But we can change it. If humans change it, the more people be vegan. Yes, the Master. more people be vegan, the more peace will arrive and quicker. Yes, Master. That's if right. humans don't change enough the critical mass portion, then that will happen. The 2027 will happen because there will be humans who use some kind of biochemical bomb that will make humans disappear into thin air. Oh, goodness. Completely gone, even bones and nails, everything. You will see nothing. Wow. It will become air, wow. not even dust. And that will affect for a long time afterwards. If somebody happens to still be alive and walk into that zone, that will also be gone. Wow. I don't know how long even I can be allowed to give initiation. So whoever is lucky with heaven's blessing and grace can come to get initiation. I can't even be sure that it will be like that forever. Please continue watching to find out more. On Tuesday, January 24th, 2023, while still in her intensive meditation retreat, our most beloved Supreme Master Ching Hai Vegan kindly shared endearing stories about her dog people during a work-related conversation with a Supreme Master Television team member. Master also answered questions related to a video taken from a time traveller in 2027, as well as the deadline for humans to repent and be vegan. How are you? I'm good, thank you, Master. Uh, how is Master? Happy Lunar New Year, huh? Oh, thank you very much, Master. Happy Lunar New Year to you too. Uh, to you and everyone. Thank you, Master. Hopefully, the people on this planet will be more protected and continue to survive. Yes. How are you, Master? Yeah, I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. It's not much of the new year <laughs> for oh. me being alone. All oh, right. But it is quite cool. I don't have time to think too much about anything. It's just very busy, very busy. That's it. Right. Yes. Very yes. busy. Hmm. Oh. I will send you a photograph I have just made. I am in selfie. And then you can show it to your brothers and sisters. Okay. So, uh, they will know how I am. <laughs> <laughs> Anything that's more uplifting? Yes, we have a couple of things. Um, Master, could you please tell us more about your dog, people? 
My what? His master's dog people. Could you please tell us more about your dog people? Oh, they are just lovely people. They are just lovely beings and very loyal, very protective, oh. very respectful in any way. I just do wish that a lot of humans would learn from dog people to be good, to be more in tune with heaven's will. They are truly, maybe other dog people are different. <laughs> My dogs, they are very in tune with heaven's blessing, power, and they are very protective. They do whatever they can and are very, very obedient. I can't say obedient, just very cooperative, very respectful. For example, if I say, okay, that's it now, uh, petting time's over. <laughs> uh-huh. I, must, I must go continue my work, for example, like that. Then they would just lie down, absolutely quiet, that you could drop a pin and hear it. Wow. Yeah. Or they go to their beds, and they know immediately, if I say go to bed, they know it's their bed time. They go, even if maybe it's a new situation, a new home, they would know where their bed is, and they will go there and lie down, at least for a while, okay? Oh, and then yes. maybe sneak back into my <laughs> my place again. Yeah. <laughs> but if I'm still busy, you know, if I'm concentrating, like uh, maybe meditating or maybe concentrating on my outside work, on yes. computer or telephone, then they just lay down quietly, More. very, very quietly. No demanding. My God, it's so quiet that that you feel like like there's, there's not even no, no air in the room. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yes. All the animal people are just so protective of humans. I wish all humans would know this and be grateful. Even all the birds, people around, wherever I go, they're always around. And sometimes I work until very late at night, three, four o'clock in the morning, and the whole sky is dark because... I live where there's no lights around, and I don't keep the light on to save electricity and whatever I can, you know? And I open the door to walk out into maybe a yard or something just to have some fresh air, a little exercise, and they all somehow woke up. And they were telling me things or singing things. I I was so astounded. I said, you cannot be singing at this time. And then I listen, listen, and then they always gave me some encouragement or some advice or some comforting words or some loving messages. Oh, so touching so nice. all the time, all the time. And even if they're far away from my place, yes, you know, they're hiding like in some forest edge far away, they still would sing, talk and tell me things. Oh. And I can hear, I can hear it faintly. Wow. Sometimes I have to use the inner ears to hear because it's too far. Okay. Yeah. And I'm always grateful to all beings around me, wherever I go. Yes, Master. Wherever I go, they are so wonderful beings, and they're so loving, so kind. They're always very protective of humans, even if I have not seen them. And that's why most dog people, they don't like you to touch their heads, because this is where they're connected with heaven. Oh. Heaven uh, power. My dog people don't like it. Oh, well, I do it. I do it only to touch their third eye and remind them that they are from the divine. Oh. And they should not forget God all the time. Every time I can, I do that. Oh, they are so respectful. So respectful. Oh, that's amazing. Yes, amazing, amazing. And there's one dog in the present group. She would never eat anything, even her favorite uh, uh, veggie bone. Until I pet her, oh. until I caress her and tell her that she's wonderful, she's good, and she's my friend, and I always love her, then she will eat. Oh, wow. Before I didn't know, I thought, what's wrong? Is something wrong with her, you know, sick or something? Hmm. And then when I touch her, I say, are you okay? Ah, I still love you, don't worry, always good. It is just a snack for love. And then she ate. Then I know from then on. <laughs> and then next time, the same, the same, the same. Then I know then that she needs to be shown love before she eats because they love those kinds of stuff. Like I give them some seaweed, you know, mm-hmm. 
see which sheet, something like that, and then a little uh, veggie bone to clean the teeth after. Yeah. Oh, okay. She loves to eat, but she won't eat unless. <laughs> unless she has the dose of lovey dovey first, yeah? Okay. <laughs> Uh, things like that, you know. That's her appetizer. <laughs> yeah, 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 perhaps so, yeah. <laughs> it's more important than the food that she loves, more than the favorite food. Dogs, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're so enduring. And if sometimes the dog people bark for no reason at all, because if you don't see anything outside or anybody come into your house or any suspicious signal outside, yeah. and the dog people bark still, is because some bad people are coming nearby. Oh. Yes, or some zealous demons, you know, some ghosts were trying to do something oh, to wow. the humans. Oh, of course, they do that to me, yeah, but to most humans, they also do that. They also want humans. But humans do not understand that it's a problem. Wow. Most humans do not understand unless they are psychic. Our animal people, communicators, are very, very in tune with their dog people. Yes. I saw some time before in Britain got talent or the Americans got talent, they show some dog person who is psychically connected with the owner. And the dog can tell the owner something that happened far, long, long before that show got talent. Oh, okay. And it turned out to be all correct. Wow. <laughs> yes. And uh, millions of people watched it, including those who were near the stage when watching on site. Yeah. Truly, dog people are very, very psychic. Most animal people are psychic. Wow. Even if they are born because of karma, not just because they have a mission to be born, into a family or to some corner to help humans in some way, even if they're born because of karma. They still have this psychic power. They're all connected. She says she's really, really grateful to be here, first of all. She's really, really grateful to be here on this property with April and Michael. She's really happy and grateful for her life. She says she's been given a good job Tell me more, Poquita. She says that she's not really sure that the world wants to hear, that that camera wants to hear, you know, her story. And she's showing me flashes of things. She's showing me animals being in a corral and tightly squeezed. I would see actually in a tight container, it feels like a metal box, maybe the back of a truck or something. They think they're going to die. She says that, you know, like coming here, it's, it's really beautiful. Like in the, in the darkness that she felt in that, in that environment and just like certain death and maybe even torture before death, just not knowing, you know, where she was going or what she was going to do, what, what, what her what fate was going to befall her. And then, you know, ending up here is like amazing. It's like, it's such a gift and she wants to give back. She wants, she like the, the gratitude that she has is so, is, is so much that she wants to give back by teaching the others that come here about love. Pokita is telling me that there are coyotes around, there are snakes around. And she tells them where they are. She knows, she can sense where the coyotes and the snakes are. She says that if we don't act smart, the coyotes might think that one of us is easy pickings. She says, I'm wise. I know my way around out there. A woman called me once from Switzerland and said to me, my dog is dying. I have to put her down. And she asked me to communicate with her. So I told her, you know, she's really not totally ready. Something's missing, even though it would be an act of compassion to let her leave. But she does want to stay a bit longer, about three days. A few months later, she called me and she said, you know that day when you communicated with my dog? Well, we finally decided to wait those three days. And my son came back home. Actually, he was in the army and he wasn't supposed to come back, but he did. So he came back and he went in the house and my dog went straight over to him. So my son crouched down and took the dog in his arms and she died in his arms. 
because the illusionary power doesn't take that telepathy power from them. Ah. They see there's no use, though no need, because dogs or animals, people, they're already very helpless or defenseless, most of them. They are already in an unfortunate or weak situation, except for those predators who were born to do their job, to regulate the population of other animals, people. Okay. That's why mostly animals, people, even vicious animal people, do not attack humans at all. They avoid humans. But now and then you hear something, that animals attack humans. <coughs> Even some small animals, like squirrels, attack humans or snakes. And even they mostly avoid humans. It's just that some humans are not really humans, even though they look like humans. Mm. But their bodies, their minds are possessed by devils or something. Yes, yes. Or they have such a huge karma (coughs) that they don't look like humans anymore in the eyes of the animal people, so they are allowed to eat them or oh, attack wow. them. Wow. But rarely animals, people attack humans because of that, because humans are the crown of the creation. Yes, Master. And have a spark of God in them. Right. Thus, we humans are very precious. It's just that us humans don't know how to develop their preciousness and their spiritual highness, their royalty, spiritual royalty that they are next to God, that they are second to God. This is a very sad thing. Yes. I really want to, I just want to beat myself up and say, my God, what can I do for them? How can I tell them more to let them remember this? Otherwise they will suffer either in the human world or maybe in the animal people world again or degrade into the animal world or into hell and be burned and be tortured. Oh, God. (laughs) So is it true that you saw hell? Oh, yes, uh, absolutely. I saw the real hell. I was there. And I wouldn't wish that upon my worst enemy. I don't care what a person has done to me. I would never wish that on them. Um, But for me, the way it went is that I thought that I was having a heart attack. And uh, I physically, my my spirit left my physical body, and I thought that I was going upward, but because uh, I had, thought I had done so much good in this lifetime and helped so many people and made so many decisions that were godly decisions, but um, as opposed to me going up, I went down. One of the things that I saw that just blew me away was there's a man on on all fours like a dog. He was burned from the crown of his head to the soles of his feet, and his eyes were bulging out. And what was worse than that is that he had a chain around his neck. So he was like a dog in hell. And what was even worse than that is that who was holding the chain? It, it was a demon holding the chain. And I knew because their things are not, they're not said, they're known. You just, it's like a telepathic communication. Um, I knew that this demon was sent in this man's life to ride him from his childhood until the time that he died. Because the demon knew that if I could stay in his life long enough on the earth, if I can keep getting him to not serve God and to make bad decisions on the earth, then I'll have power over him in hell and he'll be a slave to me. So it's like twice a slave. It's like you're a slave on the earth to the things of the devil. And then in hell, you're, you're really like a tormented dog slave. Uh, so and then there was another part that I experienced. that just blew me away. I just I'm, it still baffles me to this day. If there was a section in hell where music was playing. And it was the same music that we hear on the earth, but as opposed to uh, entertainers singing it, uh, the music demons were singing it. And it was some of the same lyrics that we hear here. I knew that on earth, a lot of the lyrics and the music and the songs are inspired by demons. So in a lot of music, people actually smoke to get high, to get verses and to get bars and to be hot and to be fresh. and. Uh, to get that, that swag, but when they open themselves up uh, to a false high, it's like illegal access into the spirit realm. They actually come in contact with demons who give them lyrics for the purpose of controlling people on the earth. Uh, there, every lyric to every song is to torment you as to the fact that you didn't worship God through music when you were on the earth. 
So it's like, you know, you had a chance to worship him in church and worship him at home and worship him through music, but you chose to uh, worship Satan by repeating the lyrics that he inspired to come into the earth. So uh, there's people there for that because music is very controlling. And um, uh, I was so, I was angry with, with God because it's like, how, how did I do this much good? And, and I'm actually, um, I'm actually in hell. Well, uh, I lifted up out of hell and I came back on the earth and God began to speak to me. I actually saw the real Jesus. I saw him and he began to speak to me and he said that, he said, you have been secretly upset with the people that hurt you. Um, you have been hoping that I would punish the people that hurt you. He said, these are not your people. These are my people. He says, I only want you to focus on the assignment that I'm giving you. Uh, and so the root of it is that although I did good, I gave a lot to people. I, I, I did a whole lot of good things. The thing that I had in my heart was unforgiveness towards people who had did me wrong. Because a person that can't forgive is a person that's forgotten how much they have been forgiven of. So uh, that's my experience with hell. Hell is a real place. And I don't believe that God, God doesn't send people to hell. People send themselves to hell. And whatever's still left inside of you that God has been trying to get out of you that you, you die with, that's going to determine where you go. God's going to want to know, did you learn to love well? Did you learn to forgive well? Did you serve me well? Did you do something greater than your life? Did you do anything that has eternal significance or is everything selfish? So... I thank God for the light. It was Jesus because because of that light, I won't see any more days in hell. Just like you have treasure in your house and you're living as a beggar every day because you don't know it. Yes. We humans also have this telepathic power. It's just that we're too busy. We don't use it and it becomes dormant. Right. Yes. It's still there. It's not rusty. It's just... If people work less for the material and had more time for the spiritual to go inward, to meditate, then even if they are not enlightened much, at least they would recover their telepathic ability and then they would do better in their business, in their work, because they will understand what their boss wants That's or right. what other people around them would do to make that work better. For example, like that. Yes, and they could right. also see if somebody has the intention to harm them in some way by this telepathic energy. Right. Yes, Master. So pity. Humans are top, top, top. They have all kinds of abilities to protect themselves, to survive even without food and water, wow, and yes. to know God and to see the angels, to see the saints, to see all the... Uh, beings on the moon, on the sun, on the stars, and other invisible beings that help or try to harm them. And they have the ability to live long, 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 many, many hundreds of years, or even thousands of years off, like maybe forever even, in the physical dimension. Wow. Not to talk about in heavens. Yes, Master. Wow. But we lost it, we lose it all because we're too busy with material gain and worry about tomorrow's food and clothing and forever never having I mean, enough, that's why. Even if we have a house already, we want a bigger house, a better house, we have a car to travel already, we still want a more expensive Porsche car or better than the neighbors and even have land, have country ruling the, the nation, already want another country, want more land, more riches, more fame, more power, more control. Mm, yes, Master. Yeah. We have a good business already, want more business and more busy and so on. We lose everything else, which is more important than the whole world's treasures put together. Yes. Wow. I forever feel sorry for humans. I never am happy thinking of their lot. I could never be truly happy thinking of their lot. All right, Master. Yeah, that's what it is. Master, on a different topic, um, about the year 2027, someone mm. um, before photographed and actually videoed empty streets and empty towns. Um, yeah. Why would it get like that? Can anything be done to avoid that situation, Master? 
Yeah, I have told you that is, no matter if anybody sees it or not, it will happen like that. Oh, God. And I'm working hard on it, okay? Yes, I'm Master. I'm still working hard on it, but I can't promise anything. Mm, thank you, Master. Yeah, because it is like this. It's the humans who will destroy humans. Oh, it's not just heavens, not just heavens. Heavens and all the saints and sages and my humble self are working so hard to try to protect all the humans possible. Mm, yes, Master. But now you can see a new variant, and it's even much more lethal than the other one before that. All right. Three years into the pandemic, and yet another new subvariant of the coronavirus has emerged. As William Brangham explains, it's spreading rapidly and it's driving an uptick in new infections. This new Omicron subvariant, known as XBB15, now accounts for more than 40% of new COVID infections here in the U.S. and around 75% of cases in the Northeast. COVID hospitalizations are rising in the Northeast. The World Health Organization calls a new Omicron subvariant the most transmissible to date. The internet, though, is taken to calling it Kraken. It could be harder to figure out what to call this strain, though, than it is to catch the subvariant of the Omicron strain. XBB15 has mutated to be able to better evade immunity than predecessor variants, according to Johns Hopkins University. That means you're more at risk of catching this variant, even if you've already been sick with previous Omicron strains, says the World Health Organization. It's also extremely contagious, says Vanderbilt Infectious Diseases professor Dr. William Schaffner. An article in the scientific journal Nature explains it's better at entering the respiratory system. Take a look at this. We already are seeing XBB.1.5 make up about 50% of total cases and look how quickly that's grown week to week. 672 million cases, 6.7 million deaths and 193 countries. This is the havoc which the Chinese Wuhan virus has inflicted upon us. The question is, Will this Wuhan killer never die? And I ask this question tonight because the Wuhan killer wave is back with renewed rage in its home country, China, and across increasing parts of the world. The situation in China is much worse than its government admitted and experts estimated. According to a new projection, China is going to see a larger and more prolonged outbreak, with infections reaching a higher peak and deaths breaking gruesome records. Here is what the projection states. There are three important things here. One, cases in China could peak to 4.8 million a day. 4.8 million a day. Number two, deaths in China could peak to 36,000 on the 26th of January. That's just days away. And number three, over 500,000 Chinese citizens may die by the end of this wave. I know that numbers and statistics leave some of us numb, seem repetitive, but wake up and smell the danger. They are telling us yet another story of fear. There is a world of difference between the previous projections and the present one. Have a look at the numbers. They are from the World Health Organization. They show which countries are reporting fresh infections. And let me remind you, these are figures from the last seven days. Let me start with the United States. In the last seven days, it has reported over 415,000 cases and 3,922 deaths. Next, we have Japan. It reported over 902,000 cases and 2,805 deaths. And then we have South Korea. It reported over 261,487 cases and 345 deaths. Following them is Australia. It reported over 191,000 cases and over 742 deaths. And then we have France. It reported over 42,000 cases and over, 40, over 469 deaths. And if I speak of Brazil, it reported over 107,885 cases. Germany reported around 73,000 fresh cases. Italy reported over 43,000 cases.
then you can see the Russians go in and killing the Ukrainians and killing their own citizens, soldiers, yes. more than even the Ukrainians killed. Oh, the Ukrainians gosh. also die, but not as many as the Russian side. Yes, master. And then threaten with whatever bomb. Yes. And this 2027, I was told that but we can change it. If humans change it, the more people be vegan. Yes, the more master. people be vegan, the more peace will arrive and quicker. Yes, Master. That's if humans right. don't change enough the critical mass portion, then that will happen. The 2027 will happen, at least in many cities, not oh, the whole planet, wow. perhaps, because we're working hard to prevent it, okay, inside. Yes, Master. Because there will be humans who use some kind of biochemical bomb that will make humans disappear into thin air. Oh, goodness. Completely gone, even bones and nails, everything. You will see nothing. Wow. It will become air, wow. not even dust. That's why everything will still be there, even but people will be gone. Wow, that's scary. Yeah, you will not see anyone. Anything that has blood, that has breathing, will be gone. Wow. Gee, we... Anything that is sentient. Wow. Yeah. Anything that moves, even the worms inside the earth, will also be gone. Wow. Mosquitoes, little insects. Yes. Even invisible, almost invisible insects, like sand flies or stuff like that, mm. they call it. Yes, that's right. Any bacteria, anything, any virus in the air will also be gone. It's a good thing that all this was gone, but humans also have to be gone. Animal people all will be gone. Fish, birds, anything that's surrounding that bomb or that device can touch will be gone into thin air. Nothing. Wow. And that will affect for a long time afterwards if somebody happens to still be alive and walk into that zone. That will also be gone. Wow. And if it fades after a while, they may be half gone, half the body gone, or just the flesh gone, and the bones stay, for example, until long, long, long time. I don't know how long. I can't tell you. I do. I'm just too, too busy to research into all these horrible, evil human inventions and intentions. Yes, Master. Gosh. We're still working hard on it, but no promise. Yes, Master. No promise. Thank Maybe you. it can prevent, save in some areas, some cities, but mm. I'm not sure it can be completely prevented for the humans and animals, people. Oh. I'm not sure it can be completely prevented. Very sorry. Yes, Master. I told you that's why I'm so sad. Christmas, New Year, whatever, I could not... Think about it. I yes. eat leftover salad on New Year's. Wow. Yes, Master. Both New Year's, that's what I remember. Yeah. Wow. I didn't have time to cook, so I just ate whatever raw that was eatable. Okay, now anything else? Yes, Master, one more. Uh, the deadline for Master's last warning for people to repent and be vegan is almost here. Is there mm. any further message Master has about this? No, mm. it's the same. Wow. Human karma is too heavy. They have to try it themselves. But uh, we still continue to give initiation for whomever is worthy. Okay. But it might be more screening from now, from the deadline. Not just anybody can be accepted like before. Oh, wow. It will be hard screening. Yes. But you can see there are obstacles already, like the last initiation in Macau. The police prevented it. Yeah. Cannot do much if the world karma is affecting each other, you know. People's karma is affecting each other. Right. Many countries have big karma. Wherever I go, I check how much percentage of karma that country has. Oh, sometimes it's too scary, you know. Wow. Yeah. But where you are right now is less. Okay. Less doesn't mean not. Understand, yes. Less than 10%, and I'm glad. Yes, okay. That's very little already. 
Very little. Yes, thanks God. Less than 10%. That's very little already compared to everywhere else. Wow, yes. Compared to many others. I don't have time to check all the countries. Right. But uh, many countries I have been to before, at least 40% and 40% plus or 50% plus. Oh, God, nobody can ever solve all that. Wow. They have to help themselves. They have to be vegan, be benevolent, be repentant truly to God. Ask God for forgiveness or else, or else really. Right. No saints, no sages that come to this world can dissolve all that world karma from all countries put together. Yes, Master. The Buddha say that human beings if you could see that karma, you won't see the sky anymore. It will cover the whole sky. Right. If you can see the invisible things, the invisible energy of that karma, it covers the whole sky. That's what they said. Wow. Yeah. Oh dear. Mm. Only when people are sincere and vegan, three months at least, then I will consider giving it initiation. But... It's more restricted this time from yes. then. And other people have to be vegan, repentant to God, and then see if they can be saved. I can only help the initiates. Wow. Because they repented and they continue to repent and continue to contact the God power within themselves. Yes. And that's how they can remember and sustain themselves to be good. So the mind will not tell the brain or dictate the body to do any more bad things, and they do only good. Yes, Master. Right. Okay. So it's the minds that we worry about now, even after initiation. Yes. Not to talk about the people who are not initiated. Their minds are influenced by all kinds of things, bad or good. They follow whatever they like to follow, and sometimes it's not all good for them to follow what their minds dictate them. Okay? Yes, that's right, Master. Mm. The mind is very powerful mm. in this kind of physical world. So anyone who practices the Quanning method, they are in contact with God. If they truly, sincerely and humbly practice this method, they can contact with this original God power. And then that will change their life. That's why you see your brothers and sisters, they experience miracles all the time in the physical evidence. Yes, yes. that's right. Like their car is all smashed, but they have just some scratches on their <laughs> on their toe. <laughs> <laughs> yes, wow. Oh, Ukraine, you know, why Russia? Because heavens are helping. Right, yes. True. Why Russian uh, insurance even fired them themselves, you know, kill their own <laughs> troops. Yes. Either a mistake or miscalculation or whatever. Yes. <laughs> They are the invaders, but they die more than the native Ukrainians. Right. And so many of the deadly weapons do not function or function in the wrong direction or just go anywhere except to the Ukrainian army, for example. Yes. Of course, there's some karma, you know, no doubt, and some have to suffer so much. Buildings and all that collapse, bombed and destroyed and don't have electricity, don't have even in winter, but the world is helping them even. Yes, Master. Since the fighting began, most of Bakhmut's pre-war 70,000 population has fled. I was promised a new combustion furnace for heating, but I never got it. How do we survive when the house is freezing cold? President Zelensky explained the currently critical situation to a conference in Paris. Right now, about 12 million people in almost all regions and the capital are disconnected from the supply. Unfortunately, this is a typical situation for us, and we expect new Russian strikes every day, which can dramatically increase the number of shutdowns. 
Dozens of countries and international organizations pledged 1 billion euros in aid to keep Ukrainians powered, fed, warmed and moving as winter approaches. I can't remember any other war that the whole world is helping one country like that wholeheartedly, you know, and diligently and continuously in their time of real need. Yes, Master. Yes, true. So truly heaven is helping Ukraine a lot. Even nobody has to believe me. Just see the results, see the effects, then they would believe that. Yes, that's right. What for I tell these lies? For what reason? It doesn't benefit me anything. Yes, true. It could be even the opposite, because I can't prove it. Yes, Master. But I have to tell the truth always, all the time, any time. But I don't know how long even I can be allowed to give initiation. Wow. I'm busy in all directions, you know, protecting the whole planet, not just the disciples, not just the would-be initiates. So whoever is lucky with heavens, blessing and grace can come to get initiation. I can't even be sure that it will be like that forever. Wow. Either they will die before initiation or the world will not exist anymore after some time oh or goodness. I will be gone. Yeah. Oh dear. My life is also physical. Do you understand? Yes, Master. And if my physical body is not there, then I'm not there. Oh. Then I can't give any more initiation permission, oh. either personally or through my monks and nuns residence. Mm. There are a lot of obstacles and physical suffering. Oh, master. And mental and psychological suffering, of course. Oh, gosh. For, for all beings. Yes, Master. And just... Just seeing the animal people suffer every day, I feel like dying already. Oh. I always pray, I always cry whenever I see it. And I talk to God, I say, how much longer do they have to suffer? How many more days do I have to pray to you? Mm. How much more do I have to humbly beg you, cry to you? Oh. You know, even just just sometimes I, I ask if I could just go a long, long time ago, you know, and even I ask if I could go to be a slave for Putin oh my God. so that he could stop the war in Ukraine. I would do anything in exchange for the suffering of Ukraine and to stop the war. But heaven told me it won't work that way. Wow. Even if he accepts that proposal, it won't work. Oh, how so? The karma has to be taken care of and wherever. Oh, yeah. It doesn't have to be the Ukrainian karma. This is the world's collective karma and it either happens here or happens there. Oh, yes. Okay. Yes. Just like in the family, there's some vulnerable person. Yes, Master. If something happens to the house, the vulnerable person will die first. Mm. Yeah? It cannot run. Yes, that's true. So Ukraine has given away all her nuclear bombs, being seduced into giving up all their nuclear weapons. Right. And now <laughs> they have nothing. You know, they're vulnerable. They're next to a giant predator, Russia. That's right. So it's easier to attack them. All right, Master. Yeah, wow. that's what it is. That's why I'm crying for the Ukrainians. I help them however I can, and our TV continues to support them on air. Yes, Master. And that helps, even though nobody sees it. Yes, I'm sure it does. That helps in the political arena. 
Yes, Master. To help Ukraine. Yes,、Thanks. it's the fact like that. That's、okay? right, Master. So you can see that sometimes the opinion changes right away, or the help changes, and all kind of things that happen. That's true. Not just the、uh, not just the bomb of Russia goes to useless areas. That's right. Yes. Many other things. I I can have a long book about it, but I don't have time for anything. And who cares? You know. Who cares? As long as it's helped, who cares that people know or do not know about it?、Mm, yes. Yes. Um, I answer your question, right? You did, Master. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Master. Oh, just ask you about something, and now we talk for so long. <laughs> okay, then it's good. God bless you. God protect you. Thank you, Master. Thank you. I love you, and I love you. Thank you, Master. And、uh, by the way, I send all my love. My praise, my appreciation to all your brothers and sisters, in house and remote, in the whole world. Thank you, Master. Anyone who has anything to do, a little bit of praise for world peace, world liberation. World liberation is more important than world peace, of course. But I don't dare to ask for more. I pray myself in my heart. That the world might have peace and liberation. Liberation meaning enlightenment, and their souls can be liberated. Yes, master. Even if their physical bodies have to suffer due to their karma, but I try and beg heaven and God to let me do what I can to help their souls so they can be liberated. You know, after the physical body. Yes, master. Thank you. Of course, other things, but that's the most important. That their souls will be liberated. That's all my heart desires. Yes, master. Thank you for that. Ah,、uh, pray for the world liberation.、Okay. Yes, master. Okay. It seems like physical wellness is is nowhere to be guaranteed. So we pray for their souls liberation. Yes, master. Okay. We're vegan. Then we'll have world peace. And then, world liberation. According to that, thank you. Thank you, Master. Ciao, my love. Goodbye, Master. Most merciful Master, we bow in profound veneration to you, as the whole world is blessed with your great compassion, selflessness, and unparalleled sacrifices. We wholeheartedly pray for the liberation of all souls, as humanity repents and follows the vegan way of living to also save all lives on our marvel planet. May we all expand our love and appreciation of all beings, thus proving our status as the crown of creation. Wishing precious Master vigorous health, permanent safety, and peace in the loving protection of all glorious heavens. To hear more delightful stories about the dog people of Supreme Master Ching Hai Vegan, as well as to learn how Master connects to the world through food and more about the benefits of initiation, please tune in on Sunday, February fifth, two thousand twenty-three, on Between Master and Disciples for the full broadcast of this phone call. Also, for your reference, please check out the previous related Between Master and Disciples conferences, such as Last Call to Turn Vegan and Repent Sincerely. Appreciate God's leniency and listen to hear His commandments. God's grace and will prayer for a total global change. Heavens assist those on the benevolent vegan path. Heaven is aiding Ukraine in the war between good and evil, etc. To view these and more between Master and Disciples conferences, all free for download, please visit suprememastertv.com and search for Pray for World Liberation.